Hey, it's me, the N to the J to the B, and I wasn't sure if I was going to film today or not. I got back to LA yesterday, and I slept in today, and I turned my phone on today long enough to order groceries via Instacart because I've told you that I have an on-again, off-again relationship with DoorDash, and I am really, really trying to cut back. Plus, I've been eating my way across Chicago for three weeks and I need to pull it together. I'm afraid to get on the scale. So, uh, in the interest of getting some food in here, not eating as much food out and getting my body back, I need to lose some weight again and, and just feel better. I feel better when I'm eating healthier. I wanted to show you what I bought. So my groceries were just delivered and here we go. I wanted a brand of oat milk called Califia. Wait, let me look at the ingredients in this. Okay, yeah, this should be fine. There's some oat milk I can't have. Oatly oat milk does not agree with me. It makes my throat and the inside of my mouth itch. When that happens, it's usually because there's uh, either peanut products in it or soy. I didn't find either of those in the milk that I drank from Oatly. Uh, but it had something in it called rapeseed, which is, a, it's a horrible name, I know. And I think that might be the culprit. So they didn't have the brand that I wanted, but they had this. So I think I'll be okay with the Great Value, which is Walmart's brand, Extra Creamy Oat Milk. I will let you know if I'm not. I needed some snacks, some healthy snacks. So I got two packs of veggies with a uh, ranch dip. Straightforward, nice snack, and I will eat it happily. Don't think that everything I got is healthy, though. It's not. Most of the things I got are seeds of change, organic quinoa, and brown rice. If you haven't tried quinoa, I don't know if it's in my head or what, but quinoa is a complete protein. That is a fact. That's not in my head. And when I eat it, I feel like it gives me a boost of energy. If we got any nutritionists, uh, scientists out there, dietitians, maybe you can explain to me why. You can tell me, no, girl, that's in your head. But I feel that way. And, you know, brown rice is uh, healthier for you than white rice is. I love this. I just, it, it's got garlic in it, but I like to doctor it up, season it up my own way with different types of herbs and spices. I try to avoid putting extra salt in things if if uh, if it's not necessary. If it's just totally bland and it needs a little help, I will, but I, I try to find ways around it, like using lime juice, uh, lemon juice, a little, a little spritz of balsamic vinegar, something like that, something to give it that bite that we look for from salt. Okay. Woohoo! Sweet kale chopped kit from uh, Taylor Farms. Now, I like Taylor Farms salads. They have a lot of different options. Um, this has green cabbage, broccoli, kale, Brussels sprouts, pepitas, which are pumpkin seeds, radicchio, cranberries, and poppy seed dressing. They have another one with a lemon vinaigrette dressing. Look, I would tell you that dressing is so good, I could pour it in a cup and drink it. I don't, but I really could. But this is pretty good too. I need it. I need it. But I need my fruits and vegetables or I just don't feel right. Okay, I got some bacon because I like bacon. This is a Hormel Black Label fully cooked, original, 100% real thick cut bacon. Could they put any more words on the front of this box? That's what I got. 10 slices and I will eat this. It's, uh, it's fully cooked so it doesn't have to go in the refrigerator. But I refrigerate it anyway. Like if you go to the store, it's usually sitting on the shelf. It feels weird to me. So I put mine in the fridge. It's nice and quick. Great value pineapple slices. The Del Monte brand. Um, Del Monte had pineapple chunks, which I prefer. But it was twice the cost of this. And I was like, okay, well, Great Value has pineapple slices. I'll just put a knife in there and make my own chunks. It'll be okay. Keep that in the fridge. And when I want something sweet, bam, there you go. Sweet and, and refreshing. Thomas's English muffins. I've told you I'm not a morning person. And 
I don't, I'm not really a cook. Like I know how to cook. I just, oh, I, <laughs> I hardly ever want to, especially in the morning. So if I'm going to eat in the morning or like before noon, I need something quick. So English muffins, um, bacon that's already cooked. Those are things that are really easy for me. So I got Thomas's English muffins and I got sourdough because sourdough is good. All right, oh, whoa, this is heavy. My favorite fruit. If you saw me in Hawaii last year, you know what it is. What is it? Boom. <laughs> I love, I love a watermelon. I don't know how sweet this one is. It, it, this one is because usually I look for dark green markings it's greenish it's not as dark as some and a, a light spot because to me that determines that it's been sitting everybody has their own way of of uh figuring out if a melon is sweet or not and this is mine dark green markings a yellow spot that shows that it's been sitting on the farm for a while and uh and then when you slap it okay it's got a little bounce to it i'm not mad at that <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna sit here all day slapping this watermelon like a weirdo. Next item, broccoli. I love some broccoli. I'll put some broccoli in my salad. I'll cook it and eat it with dinner. Broccoli is versatile. And I asked for no brown spots, please. And I got no brown spots. Oh, I'm very happy. Okay. I think the only vegetable I don't like is uh, okra. I just, like that slimy situation, I can't. Sweet potato. Boom, sweet potato. Crock pot, sweet potatoes are the truth. Put it in the crock pot when you go to bed. Put it on low, I wrap it in foil so it doesn't get the crock pot all gross. And when I get up, it smells so good in here, and I know breakfast is ready. Put a little butter on it, put a little cinnamon on it. Got you some breakfast. What is this? Uh oh. I think I got somebody else's groceries mixed in with mine. Uh, Dannon Light and Light and Fit. Greek strawberry cheesecake yogurt. Let me, I'm going to have to check my receipt because I didn't order this. I've never had this. I would not have ordered it. Let me see what kind of sweetener it has in it. Uh, it's got Splenda in it. I will not be eating this. Um, I don't like, I don't like the way that fake sugar tastes. So yeah, that's not even mine. Activia. I like Activia. I do not believe I ordered it this time. Yeah, this isn't even the flavor that I normally order. I did not order this I, intentionally. So I'm gonna look and I'll let you know. I'm gonna look at my receipt and see if this is on there. But I will eat that. Mrs. Dash, you remember those commercials? I got some Mrs. Dash. I like Mrs. Dash. It's a good way to season without adding extra salt. And this is, I think this is, yeah, this is the original seasoning blend. It contains a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Dried, dried onion, uh, black pepper, parsley, celery seed, basil, bay, bay leaves, marjoram, oregano, savory. That's not a spice. <laughs> That's a category. Thyme, mustard, cumin, rosemary, cayenne, pepper, coriander, dried garlic, dried carrots, dried orange peel, dried tomato, lemon juice powder, citric acid, oil of lemon, salt-free, no MSG, and I use it. This is not just for white people. I know, I know a lot of people think that Think that if, if you know how to season, uh, you don't need Mrs. Dash. This makes it easy. Put that in there. I do still put some other things in there, but I like that it's salt-free. Again, I use as little salt as I can get away with. Okay, I got a couple. Uh-oh. <laughs> Got a couple of apples here. Got me some gala apples. No, oh, wait a minute. She got me Honeycrisp. Okay, now, I, I love Honeycrisp, but they're expensive. So I asked 
specifically for Gala apples because they're uh, the flavor is kind of close to honey crisp. Not it's got it's sweet, but not as tart as a Granny Smith. You got to be in the mood for a Granny Smith. And I like to put. Uh oh, wait a minute. Are we missing things? Okay, we got a problem up in here. We got a problem. We are missing some stuff. I wonder if she gave somebody else my stuff. Dang it. Okay. I also wanted sunflower seed butter. So I'm going to look at my receipt and just make sure it wasn't me. I don't think it was me though. I got some uh, Gordon's crunchy breaded 100% whole fillets. Not minced fish. You know, like fish, fish sticks tend to be minced and they smush it together. <laughs> like they glue it together some kind of way and stick some batter on top and you eat it and feed it to your kids. These are whole fillets. They've been breaded, and I'm going to cook these in my air fryer and put some hot sauce on them. I got some thin cut ribeye steaks. Boom, boom, boom. That's going to be some good eating right there. Sometimes I cook them in the air fryer. Sometimes I stick them in the broiler. It's 102 degrees today, so uh, I'll probably cook them in the air fryer. I got some Metamucil because I do my best to keep keep as much fiber in my diet as I can. And I've been using the Metamucil that you, you stir into the drink. It's orange flavored, but sometimes I don't want to drink it. It's like, I just drank coffee. I don't want to drink an orange drink now, or I just want water. I want to drink this orange drink. It doesn't taste bad. It's a little gritty, uh, but I have to, you have to drink it fast. Otherwise it will turn into, <laughs> turn into a gel in your glass and you don't want to drink that. I'm going to try these instead. Uh, Metamucil 3-in-1 Fiber Capsules. And it's just psyllium fiber. Like you can buy psyllium husks at the, at the health food store. Uh, and it does the same thing. But I just want something easy. Psyllium husks, I don't, uh, they grossed me out. <laughs> I tried them and I was like, yeah, this ain't for me. Boom. Just because today I wanted some chocolate. So I'm like, let me just keep some Swiss Miss around here with the marshmallows, because I like marshmallows, and I'll just have it. It'll be here whenever I want chocolate, which honestly is not very often. I'm not really a chocoholic. But every night, I want something crunchy. So, boom! <laughs> My nighttime snack for now, until these are gone, will be sea salt and vinegar, kettle cooked Lay's, I love all things sea salt and vinegar. And I also got some flaming Hot Kettle Cooked Lays because the sister likes a little burn. <laughs> wait, wait, it depends on what, what the burn is coming from. I should probably delete this. That's it. Now let me check and see if I really ordered some of this stuff. Maybe I ordered some stuff by accident or I didn't order the sunflower seed butter. I'm gonna come back, I'll be right back, okay? Okay, I put the groceries away and I looked at my order. I did not order yogurt of any kind. So the Activia that I will eat, <laughs> I did not order it. And the other stuff, I don't even know what it was. The, the Greek yogurt with the Splenda in it, I definitely did not order that. Maybe that belonged in somebody else's order. I did not get the sunflower seed butter. A lot of people like peanut butter on apples. I like either almond butter, cashew butter, or sunflower seed butter on my apples. And, uh, and it gives me protein as well. I ordered that, did not receive it, and I also ordered a six pack of eggs. I didn't get that either. So I let Instacart know I didn't get my stuff. I didn't see a way to report things that I got that I shouldn't have gotten. <laughs> and I don't want them charging me for it anyway because I didn't ask for it. But they're gonna refund my card for the purchase price of the things that I did not receive. I usually get everything and it's usually in good condition. Uh, I asked for no brown spots on the broccoli, got no brown spots on the broccoli. I seldom have any problems. The drivers are communicative. And uh, if you, let me see, if you're interested in trying Instacart, 
let me see if I get if I have a like a referral thing. I'm looking at my iPad right now. Um, oh, invite friends. Give ten dollars, get ten dollars. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link to my Instacart uh, account, and when if you decide you want to sign up. Okay, it says give 10, <laughs> let me read first before I start making things up. Give $10, get $10 for every friend who places their first order. If you want groceries delivered to you from a variety of stores around where you live, you can use Instacart, try it out. They'll give you $10 to try it out and they'll give me $10. That sounds like a good deal. I'll put that link in the description box below this video. Okay, so that's what I bought today. I haven't eaten today and it's late. It's 5.05 p.m. So I'm going to go in here and figure out what I'm going to eat. Probably something quick. I'll probably grab some fruit. Not the watermelon because I like it when it gets cold. Not the pineapple because I like it cold. But uh, I'll figure it out. Okay. I will see you again soon when I'm a, a little more well rested and my eyes are all the way open. <laughs> I feel like my eyes are half closed today. I'll see you later. Bye.